No, he ain't out here. So go ahead and go to Isaiah 42 and 22. Because a lot of things that's changing in the community, but it's not going to come unless we start. It's not going to come. So watch this. Go ahead and give me what you got. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 22. Uh -huh. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. So God said you so-called blacks and Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans is what? Robbed and spoiled. You are robbed and spoiled. You got robbed of your nationality. You got robbed of your identity. You are destroyed, and it is time for us to come back to God's laws. Hey, brother, what you just come from doing, right? You know what today is? Come, come deal with me. You my elder. Come deal with me. Uh, you, you my elder. So listen to this, though. Let me see if you agree. Listen to this. Don't, don't, don't. Hold on. But this is the people robbed and spoiled. So look, the Bible said that we are robbed and spoiled. Now, you as my, uh, my elder, I'm asking you a question, young man to older man. How are we robbed as a people today? I can't hear you. You got to come up. I can't hear you real quick. Come around one time. Towards our what? Come around for me. Come around this way, school. So listen, read it again. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They're so look, it said this is a people robbed and spoiled. Now look, the Bible said we robbed and spoiled. Come this way. You see these signs out here? Look right here. This is how we was robbed and spoiled. From slavery. They robbed us of our nationality. They robbed us of our true identity of who we are, the sons of God. But what else we doing calling ourselves today? Negroes. We calling ourselves, what they call you back in the day? Color. What's some of them things back then? Hey, you call me, uh, when I was school, I called, they called me a nigga, they called me a slave. They called you a what? A nigga, they called you a nigga. Good Deuteronomy 28, 37. These is the curses that God put on us for breaking his laws. So you ever wondered and thought to yourself, why do these white people call me nigga? Why anywhere I go in the country, they call me a nigga? Why do we call ourselves nigga? Watch this. The, this in the Bible. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment. So God said we shall become an astonishment, a surprise. Moses is talking to the so-called blacks and Hispanics, the Israelites today. He said what? And thou shalt become an astonishment. So God said we was going to become an astonishment. You know some of them astonishments was how you got black people, they are lined up for a chicken sandwich. You see what I'm saying? That's a surprise. Some of them astonishments is how you got women with God-given hair. God-given hair, that natural wool, and they'll cover it up with European hair, with white people hair. But then they jealous and they mad when a, when a black uh, white girl get braids. You got white girl hair on your head. How you mad at them? Read it from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 37. And thou shall become an astonishment. So God said, due to us breaking his laws, we was going to become an astonishment. I didn't get your name, my bad. Donald. Donald. So Donald, listen to what the Bible is saying. It's talking about the Israelites. The Israelites is the so-called blacks today. He said, thou shalt become an a what? Thou shalt become an astonishment. So we was going to become an astonishment to where you can see the women out here, like I mentioned earlier, with their hair, they covering it up. Then you got the men sagging their pants. Those is astonishments. We out here telling our people black lives matter, but then we killing ourselves. Those is astonishments. Donald, don't go nowhere. I ain't finished. Read. A proverb and a byword. So those is the things that God said was going to come upon us. He said a byword. What is a byword? A byword is being called outside your God-given name. That's why in the time when you went to school, what they call you? They called you outside your God-given name. Now the question is, what does God call you? God called you a child of God. Now, in order to be a child of God, what must we do as children of God? You got to serve and you got to honor him. Let's get that. So you will say you love God, right? You believe in God? Give me Sirach 32 and 24. I'm going to give you two scriptures to let you know. Hey, bro, bro. Hey, listen to this. Because the elder was saying back in the day, they used to call him nigger when he went to school. Now, do we call ourselves niggas today? That's a question. So answer, answer the question. Why do we call ourselves nigger? Read that. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 32 and verse 24. So as an Israelite now, because that's your true nationality, your enemies, your oppressor calls you black. Black is just the color of your hat and your jacket. All right? So read this. He that believeth in the Lord. So Donald, you believe in God, right? Watch this. He that believeth in the Lord 
Say, give heed to the commandment. So it said, he that believe in the Lord, Donald got to do what? Take heed to the commandment. So Donald, what must you do as a child of God? You got to do what? You got to keep the commandments, Psalms 119 and 66. Some of God's commandments is we going to show you right now, because I want to ask you a question. You see, my beard ain't, ain't all the way there. You know, I got a little something, you feel me? But look, why do you shave yours? Is it because you're trying to get a job? Or is it because you want to look younger? What is the reason why we have men out here? I never, I never, I never uh, really. You never I thought never, of that? I just, you know, as I get older, I feel, I ain't going to up. I let man grow. Right. But, you know. I'm okay. I'm living my life. Watch this. I got you. Because look, a lot of our people say we live in our life, and guess where that get us? We gonna read that. Watch this. This is Psalms chapter one nineteen and verse one sixty six. No, sixty six. Teach me good judgment. So now we gonna teach you the good judgment. The good judgment is gonna come based off this book. Because nobody is teaching us. Look what the older men doing today. What is the example that they setting for the youth? I look at my elders and see they standing in front of liquor stores. I look at my elders, they told me when I was 11, you ain't got no girlfriend yet? You ain't got no hoes yet? Those is not good, that's not good judgment. You feel me? Read on. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed. He have what? I have believed. I know, listen, it's going to tell you what you're supposed to believe. Watch this. Thy commandment. Do you agree with that? The elder man said, we, if he believe in God, we got to teach keep the commandments. You understand? So listen to what Donald just said. We finna show him Leviticus 21 and 5. Donald, tell him what you gotta do to believe. Now you as an older man supposed to teach another brother so he can teach us young brothers how not to end up on child support. How not to end up killing each other. How not to end up looking at my brother and now I'm ready to upload something on him. You see what I'm saying? So listen, now that we just taught you, you being the elder got to teach the other brothers. That's what was happening back in your day, wasn't it? Wasn't we teaching each other? So before you go, Donald, share with him. What is he supposed to do? So in order to say you believe in God, you got to do this. Read. This is Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Donald, I know you're trying to go. This is the last one. Watch this. They shall not make baldness upon their head. What's that talking about, Donald? You said you, no, 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 look, he trying to slide up out of there. Look, it says, thou shalt not what? Make baldness upon their head. So your hat would just came off. Is it bald? It's bald now, No, you got it shaved it down, but it ain't bald. You see the difference? God said, as a child of God, he wants you to look a certain way. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Look how we look. So as you being a child of God, you look, you got to look like God. Right? You can't sit there and say I'm a child of God, but then you look like the white man. The white man taught you to shave your hair. The white man taught you to cut your beard off. You as a man got to understand that you have to lead by example. That's why you being older, you being 57, look at what the brothers that's born in the 80s doing. Cold as hell, standing in front of liquor stores. And we got to show these brothers, look, it's something better to life than that. But back in the day, we was hustling for each other. We was trying to get it and live. We weren't trying to kill each other. Watch this. Read the rest. Neither shall they cut, shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Hold on, Donald. Now you pulled your mask off. Read that part again, because you know a lot of our people, I notice we smile when something click. You see what I'm doing? Don't try to cover it up. Read that. Neither shall they shave off the corner of thy beard. So what's that talking about? God said you can't what? You can't shave it. So look, you got to let it grow. Look, I ain't got no full beard, but the little bit I got, I let it go because of Sirach 2 and 15. That's why. These is the scriptures that's coming out to teach us that good judgment. It's not good judgment for you to break God's laws because what is sin? We got to understand, we go to church all the time and the elder brothers just walk up and down. A hey, young brother right there in the street. What is sin? Brother man, listen, Donald, you got to hear this part. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 15. Uh -huh. They that fear the Lord. So when you fear God, because we all say we fear God, right? We all say we believe, but it's something that we have to show. Read. Will not disobey his word. Hold on, Donald. You know that you believe. You got to keep the commandments. You know that you can't shave your head. You can't uh, get no goatee, no chin strap. You can't shave off your beard. You got to let it grow. Trim it up. Look good, right? But you, that means moving forward, what you not going to do? 
They that love him will keep his ways. So in order to say that you love God, you're not going to disobey his word and you're going to keep his ways. Did Christ shave a beard? Did Christ shave? Christ didn't shave. So you got to understand these are the things that you got to start doing. So Zephaniah 2 and 1 must take place. Zephaniah 2 and 1 has to take place right now. Do you know what that Bible scripture talking about? Listen what's going on now because a lot of our people we can come together for family reunions We can come together for all these things. Hey, bro. His name Donald. What's your name? Watch this. Watch this. Hey, come here, bro. Listen to this. Listen to this. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1 Gather yourself together. So we as so-called black, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, the Israelites, we got to start gathering ourselves together. We got to start teaching our community what they're not supposed to do according to We God. used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.